Hey guys, my name is Frederick and I'm Shrizzle from Stinsbuild on the optimization side. Today I wanted to go through some NVIDIA control panel settings as well as some additional tweaks that can be done for your system. For today we will need two additional programs to follow along. The first one being NVIDIA Profile Inspector and then the other one will be MSI Util which will be more explained in this long post on why we're using it and what it does. I'm not going to go too much in detail, but I'm going to be putting the links down in the description below so you can read on it. To start things off, you want to open up the control panel by right clicking your background and then clicking on control panel right here. If you're on Windows 11, you might need to click on the additional settings to make it appear. Once you open it, you want to go to the manage the settings right at the top. And then I like to start from bottom to top, it just makes it a little bit easier with the way it, it performs. The first setting you want to take a look at will be vertical sync. Some people like to just disable entirely and never use it, but I like to do it from a game to game basis as there are some games such as Apex Legends that will get a lot of screen tearing and frame lag by not having adaptive sync or vsync enabled. So I just leave it on this and then do it from a game to game basis. Now the first actual setting that we want to change will be the texture filtering quality. You want to change this from quality to high performance. The other one that you want to change will be your shader cache size. There are some games out there, not all games, that will actually benefit from having a larger shader cache, such as Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. It helps a lot with the stuttering. For the most part, it's a case-to-case -case basis, but it does help, so I, you typically put it to unlimited. The next one will be your OpenGL rendering GPU. You just want to choose your current GPU, the 4070 Ti for me in my case. Once this is all set up, these are basically the basic settings. You want to press apply, and then we can move to the program settings. In the program settings, you just want to add your game. So you want to find your game. Me would be Escape from Tarkov. I'll do it on. So add selected program. And then again, I'm going to start from the bottom. I'm going to start with vertical sync. Since Tarkov, I don't want vSync on. I typically turn it off like so. And then the next one that you want to change will be shredded optimization. You want to change it from auto to on. And then the next one will be power, power management mode and then change it to prefer maximum performance. What this will do, and the reason we don't do it in global, is on your GPU, whenever you're gonna be playing the game, it's gonna force your memory to be at the maximum speed that it's rated for, and then your GPU will be at the default boost lock. For me, it would be like 27, uh, 2730, and then after that, once I'm actually playing, it needs extra power, that's where it will boost up even higher. So that's why we don't do it in the global because we don't want it to be always boosted up and ready to to rumble. Other than that, there's not really much else that we need to touch in here. Uh, on some cases, some people might have image sharpening. You can enable it in the regedit. It's a little bit more complicated to turn it on. But in here, you want to change it. If you're using it, you want to change it from off to on. And then you can tweak this depending on how sharp you want. I like my game a little bit extra sharper. So I like to do 75 and then I'll keep the, the film grain in NOR on, on default, which is 0.17. Once this is all set up, you want to do it for multiple games. So you would just set them all up and then you press apply. And then we can move on to the next one, which would be your resolution. In here, what you want to do is make sure that you choose your proper resolution. Sometimes it might be up here, other times it might be down here. You just want to make sure that you're you're having the maximum refresh rate on your monitor. And then the other thing you want to do is change your your control panel right here to NVIDIA color settings. And sometimes on some monitors, you might be able to change your color depth from eight bits uh, eight bit to ten bit. On this one, I can't. And then on the Samsung Odyssey, I can. So this is where I would do it. And then you would just press apply. You might see a screen flicker a little bit. And then everything would be set up like so. So you get a little bit better color accuracy and better uh, gradients of colors. Now for the actual desktop color settings, 
And here, what this will allow you to do is just make the, some games that are very dull, such as Call of Duty or even Hunt Showdown, and in some, some maps, even Apex or Tarkov, you can increase your, the color vibrance. This just will make the colors pop a lot more. I typically do between 90 to 70. Just really personal preference. And then for Gamma, on some games, I just do 0.05 like so. And then in other games, like such as Tarkov, where it's really, really dark, I'll go all the way up to even like 0.30 or, or 0.40, depending on the map I'm playing. So just, just two tastes, just find what works best for you and really find like your best middle ground. But for most games, I just do 0.05 and then Tarkov, I push a little bit higher. Same with contrast and brightness. This is a little bit more personal preference, more contrast mates, uh, more, it just helps with, uh, having more dynamic colors and then brightness is just a general uplift in brightness really. It's self-explanatory for that. And then once this is set up, you can press apply. And then let's say you're playing some games or just watching some content and you don't want it to be enabled. You can click override to reference mode right here and then press apply. And then your color settings will be saved, but it won't be applied until you uncheck this and press apply. And then you would get the colors back. So just a easy quick wave without having to touch anything. Now, the last thing that we want to really touch in here would be adjust size and position right here. If you're playing at uh, 1440p and you want to down resolution to a 1080p and you don't want it to be stretched out, you want to still keep it nice and crisp, you would change it from aspect ratio, which is by default, to no scaling. And what that will do is keep it a one-to-one -one ratio with the pixels and won't look stretched out on your screen. And with that, it's pretty much the main settings that we want to tweak in the control panel. And there isn't really much else. So if let's say if you're using a capture card, this is where you would be able to make clone one into two and vice versa. But this is outside of what we're trying to do in here. And this will allow you to move your screen depending on where you want it and stuff too. So the second thing that you want to do is download NVIDIA Profile Inspector if you haven't already. So you want to be on the GitHub and then click on release on the right and then download the, the zip file right here and then extract all the contents. Once that is done, you'll be able to open up the Profile Inspector like so. And then at the top, you'll see profiles. What you want to do is search up the game that you're playing mainly, which in this case will be... Uh, Tarkov or Call of Duty, you want to choose Modern Warfare 2, 2022, and then you want to scroll down to common right here and then rebar feature. You want to change it from disabled to enabled, and then re the options right below it, you want to change it from the default to Battlefield 5 right here, as well as the size limit, we're going to do the same to Battlefield 5. These are just very common games that all have resize bar enabled and we're using their same settings. Once this is all set up, you can press apply changes at the top and that will save all the settings. You want to do this profile inspector after you set up the profile in the control panel as this will apply additional stuff to it. And then if you modify it in the control panel, it might delete these settings. And then let's say that you, you play your game, you see that your FPS is actually worse and your frames are less stable and less consistent. What you want to do at the top, you'll see a little NVIDIA logo right here, and then you'll click on it. And this will restore the current profile that you're on to default. This will turn everything to default as well as any other settings that you've done in the control panel back to zero. And then once you restore it, you press apply and there are no settings done. And you want to do this to your different games, really give it a try, take a note of where your FPS are, try and recreate the same scenarios, and then just really have a feel for it. If you have uh, programs like uh, Riva Tuner or any other programs that allow you to do uh, telemetry and, and the lists of your FPS, just take a look at that and check your 1% and 0.1% lows, and that will really tell you if it's helping or if it's hindering and then just do it before and after, and then decide on 
do I want to keep this feature or disable that feature? But for Call of Duty, it's been proven that it helps a lot. The last thing that we want to do is enable MSI mode on a graphics card. To do so, you just want to download MSI Utility, which will be in the link in the description below. Will be this media file right here, and then you'll download it, extract it like the other program. Once that's done, you want to open it up. You want to run it as admin though, so right click, run as admin. And then you want to find your graphics card. By default, 40 series will be undefined and MSI mode will be not enabled. So what you want to do is check this and then change this to high. Once this is done, you press apply. And then if you're on the 30 series card, you it will look MSI mode will be enabled, but your priority will be undefined. So you just want to change it from undefined to high and then press apply. This will help a little bit with uh, graphics card latency as well as just uh, the overall feel of your PC. Once this is all done, you can just close this. If you have any comments or questions about anything talked about in this uh, little guide I've made today, feel free to post in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer as soon as I can. And then if you're looking to uh, get more tech related information or videos, feel free to drop a sub. I'll be continuing making these nice little informative videos and looking forward to doing more for the community. Hope you all have a great day and uh, stay tuned for the next video.